The mountain. See, see that? Yeah. A big tall when I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yep. Ready, I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, nice. the big lake didn't look right. big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. I Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. What do you want? When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Take there'll be none left, please. I said. Just one. I ate another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look at the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches, and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way, so you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. We've been scared since we were here. Subway. When I was little, I liked going on the subway train. Willy likes going on the subway train too. It was fun going down under the ground. It was scary and exciting. When the train rumbled and roared out of the tunnel, it squeaked and hissed and stopped. It was like magic when the door slid open and we got on. I was so happy rattling 
and shiggling through the tunnels on the subway train. I love the subway train. Wooly loved the subway train too. One day my friend Angel came to play. We played subway trains all day. We drew pictures of subway trains. We made tunnels for the subway trains. Wooly pretended to be a train. How about you build tunnels all around the room and then you can be the subway trains? Yeah. yeah. Mummy gave us lots of old sheets and blankets. We made tunnels all over the place. We hooted and went through our tunnels. Sometimes we bumped. Mummy likes our fun. Who wants to go on a real subway? Who wants to ride on a real subway? Before we left, we played sliding doors. Thank you. We played subway trains all the way to the station. OK, we have to be sensible now. We're going to go on a real subway, so no more playing. When we got to the station, we played sliding doors. No more playing, <sighs> said Mummy. But me and Angel were having fun. Then Mummy stopped us. She stood between us so we couldn't play. Come on said Mummy. Going underground wasn't fun anymore. The subway train wasn't exciting. There was no magic. Mummy had spoiled our fun. Hey Tig, it doesn't seem fair when someone spoils your fun. It's not nice when someone stops your game. But there are some places where it's wrong to play. There are some places where you need to take special care. The subway is no place to run around and play. Everywhere on the subway, things are moving. The escalator's going up and down. Trains arriving and leaving. Doors opening and closing. People coming and going. So Mummy isn't spoiling your fun. Mummy is taking special care of you and Angel. But hey, Tig, that doesn't mean you can't still have fun and enjoy the ride. Just sit back and relax. No need to play a game when you have all the fun of a real train. Go for it, Tig. Say sorry to Mummy and no more train games until you're home again. Yes, I thought. Mummy was right. A real subway is no place to play. Sorry, Mummy, I said. Oh, thank you, Tig. <laughs> Mummy let me and Angel sit together. We had fun on the real subway train. Just looking and shiggling along. When we got home, we played subway trains again. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly <gasps> fell over. It's only a toy spider. I like subway trains. And I love Willie. I love Willie.